What's up, Sushi Squad? We back again for some more Trove to the Dome, and today we're gonna be taking a look at the what are these called? Pressure locked Delver's cache. My god, what's that? Why, yes, if you are new to Trove, you can use the sign up link in the description, and then anything you buy out of the store will end up having a percentage of that sale go towards me. It's awesome, isn't it? Haha, uh -huh. thanks guys. Back to the video. Also, smash like, please. So these are going to end up being a new box that is going to obviously end up coming with the Delves update. We kind of know where you'll end up getting them and I'll elaborate on them in a moment, but I did want to mention a couple things. Uh, these 50 boxes you will actually just see in your claims menu as soon as you go to the test server. Even it's not for a specific day either. Apparently it's just all the time because Joe keeps getting better gear on the live server. So he keeps re-exporting his uh, account to the test server which overrides his entire inventory on the test server but he keeps on getting these boxes every time he overrides so it's like they have it set up right now so that as so long as you log into the test server at this point in time you're going to be able to get these boxes to test out the drop rates and i mean if i could i would probably just re-export over and over again so i could check these out maybe i could do that with my alt honestly speaking but anyways uh, where you're going to end up getting these boxes is very interesting because every third floor in the delves you're going to end up finding that shadow chest that we've talked about extensively that gives you titan souls lunar souls and stuff like that uh, and essentially the, on that floor there's going to end up being a random chance of a merchant showing up it's only on that floor which is what's ridiculous and you can end up buying these cash from him for a pretty expensive price it's actually really expensive dude i don't get it especially considering that opening the delves chest just all of them in general also have a chance of dropping these boxes that's kind of weird isn't it uh apparently also these banners can end up just dropping from like uh i think it's the delves chest as well maybe some of them actually just drop from normal enemies but i could be confusing that with binding darkness i think just drops from all enemies in the delves now or something but anyways what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be unboxing a bunch of stuff and hopefully we'll get some of the rares because the thing that i've noticed with this whole delves update and i'm curious whether they're going to end up doing something like this in the future with uh you know more content updates and stuff like that is this is you know they did this last time but not as much as they've been doing this time this time they are very very much uh just sprinkling on little little dabs of the new content for us to test out and then we're sitting here confused what's going on you know what why why are the devils like so difficult to end up dealing with why is it so powerful because there's like most of the content that's going on with the Dells right now isn't even on the test server for us to properly test this stuff out. That's why, dumb dumb. Like, uh, you know, we didn't have any of these banners uh, a while ago, and now they're just suddenly all over the place. It's crazy. There's even decorative banners now, and it's just like, it just keeps on going and going, the amount of things that you can end up getting from these guys. Where's the donate inert geode? Yeah, there we go. This guy wants us to donate. I, I didn't catch this on my last video, but there you go. You donate 20, you end up getting one box. Wow, Jiminy Crockett. But anyways, now these boxes get thrown into the mix, uh, adding even more banners than the original one that we saw where you could uh, you could craft like this one banner that gave you a little bit of light. Now we can just get like a bunch of banners that we can combine, whatever. But there's also going to be a bunch of new allies out of these boxes as well that have really good light value and end up making the delves a little bit more manageable. It's crazy how much content they kind of are sneaking in slowly for us to test on the test server meanwhile we're sitting here going into the delves it's too strong and it's like yeah it is because like apparently 50 percent of the content that makes the delves a lot more manageable just isn't in the delves right now but anyways let's start opening these uh see what we can get delve tracker potion cannot be used in this world drink every uh, uh, a drink okay every five seconds one enemy within 40 blocks becomes visible through walls remains active until the uh until exiting the delve it was used in that's pretty good actually i didn't know that it worked every five seconds so essentially uh, what that's gonna be for is you know when you go in a delve and it tells you to like kill all of the enemies uh and you have a really hard time seeing that last enemy 
essentially that's what these are supposed to be for i guess so there you go uh then there's also some pressurized cave kelp right here which is a good crafting resource bombs which is strange uh apparently two out of these boxes you can get there's an ally there's a bunch of banners uh i think there's a new bomb type that you can only end up using in the delves um this might actually be them yeah it is depth charge they really shouldn't be using the same icon as the bombs themselves it's confusing but uh so this bomb safely rated only you for use with okay it is not you use them in the delves and <laughs> essentially the developers clearly didn't test them because they didn't realize that in later delves uh it's essentially uh, the deeper forms of the geode caves right and anybody who's gotten to depths like three four and five or, or the geode caves tiers three four and five knows that the ore becomes extremely difficult to mine because normally we have a laser module that we're slowly upgrading yeah well these bombs aren't really scaled for that so you're gonna have to use quite a few of these bombs just to get like one piece of ore it's it's pretty crazy but anyways give me something rare come on i want to see some of the good stuff oh hey so we got some of these banners right here which these are these are crazy because these can just drop so found somewhere within depth 25 and up of delves this banner pole creates banners that increase magic damage so essentially they're adding like all of these stupid items thank god they stack but they're going to fill up your inventory because there's like a hundred of them and you need to have two specific types in order to combine them in the crafting table in order to end up having a different banner We'll look at those in a minute because there's a couple of them that we can probably craft right now. We'll take a quick peek at the bombs as well just because why not? I want to see those for myself. My god, there we go. So this this is actually one of the allies. This is great. Uh, it gives us not only 300 light, but it gives health regen. Useless. Uh, has a chance to recover one flask charge when a nearby enemy dies. Now that's insane because the Golden Horde Dragon Pup is actually uh, one of the underappreciated and best allies when the Delves update ends up coming out because having that extra flask charge for especially for the later Delves is more than enough for the amount of damage that you're losing by not using your Raptor Berserkers or your Chrono Cubesly and stuff like that. But here's the interesting thing, guys, uh, and Joe and I have tested this out, which is very, very strange having this 300 light value is actually going to give you more damage towards the enemies in the later tiers of delves than it does to even use raptor berserker and chrono cubes the prefect penguin uh, little bergy and all that stuff all those damage dealing allies that give you like 20 percent extra damage by the way are just destroyed by 300 measly light so hashtag one of the best allies that you can get is going to end up being uh these boxes thank you very much this is of course for the later delves earlier delves it doesn't really matter so much but hopefully we'll end up getting something better out of this instead of just that i mean i guess it's cool but i was really hoping that we would actually have enough boxes to trigger karma that's kind of mean of the devs to not end up actually giving us enough <laughs> God dang it. Okay, I didn't really get anything worthwhile out of that, except for old wobbles here, which I like it. What did I get this? I got that for... Oh, God. Oh, that was for the adventure. Okay. Uh, I wondered if that was from, like, a... <sighs> I was kind of worried that that was going to end up being from doing whoopsie daisy famous and stuff recently acquired there it is let's equip him let's see what he looks like it's just a pick whatever he's cool uh and then also let's take a peek at the banners so there's only one that i can craft right now unfortunately even out of all of these other ones i just am just missing like one of the other banners that's crazy so weird uh so this one's taking the twin fish so used to craft light banners at the delves bench and then found somewhere in delves blah, 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 increases max health so this is useless but i'll take it just because why not right and essentially this is going to give us an extra 200 light three jump seven energy regen and six thousand max health you know what that's not too bad and it actually looks kind of cool i mean they're really pushing for these new banners like it's like the only extra equip slot that they can possibly even use in the game i guess that's why they want to end up just going crazy with it but it's like i don't know it's not the coolest dude i mean i guess it's better than this one that just gives us 100 light right 
But yeah, anyways, uh, we don't need to be doing like a difficult delve or anything like that. So let's just throw down like a portal right here. Uh, go to our vanguard. No, you son of a gun! You bleh. Bleh. No, I didn't. <laughs> it's, I, it's private for a reason. It's a stupid game. Okay, good. I think we got in without him getting in. I'm sorry, random person, but I'm trying to test stuff out. Okay, so... Uh, we gotta get the bombs here and try these suckers out. Also, try to just take on some of these enemies, which doesn't really matter, because we're going to be super duper powerful. Can we just bomb the delves in general? Yes, we can. Seven, eight, nine. Oh my god, that's expensive. The amount of bombs you need. Nine bombs just to destroy the ground? That's insane. What about for the ore? One. Eh, alright, that's not as bad as I thought it would be, honestly speaking. I thought it was going to end up being a lot worse. Yeah. Uh, there is still quite a few other... Actually, you know what? This is a much higher tiered resource. One, two... Oh, no, it's still only like two for the ore. Okay. So, I, I retract what I said about... Oh, the devs didn't test it, you know? Because I, I was just hearing from word of mouth. This is why it's always good to test things out for yourselves. Uh, rather than just listening to public opinion. Because that's not really that bad. Like, destroying the background items doesn't really matter too much, but... Let's also consume one of these pots here. Can I consume one of these? Why can't I consume one of these? Oh, it just throws it on my hotbar. That's why. That's weird. Okay, so that is an enemy right up there. It's pretty much the same as shadow marking uh, or seeing uh, enemies through walls uh, or players through walls, I should say, uh, when you've just got your... Um, like on your friends list and stuff. Now, one thing that does actually suck is for some stupid reason man the fire actually looks really good on these guys for some dummy dummy dumb town reason the devs are out of their minds dude they thought for some strange reason well 12 players like going fast so we're going to reduce the time that you can successfully complete the delves yeah that's right so we actually normally we had like 16 minutes now we got like seven or something like what was it when we first came in here ridiculous means that it's gonna be utterly impossible to solo some of the later tiers of the delves and i know what you're thinking well you're not supposed to solo the later tiers of the delves dude when you're maxed out you should be able to that's your reward okay because, I mean, honestly speaking, I think I activated that error one, but it didn't complete the objective, which sucks. But it's like, you should be able to do it when you're at the end of the game. You shouldn't have to rely on other people just because you're so freaking powerful. And then, of course, if you have any extra people with you, it's just going to end up making things go a lot faster. I don't know whether or not I need to complete more of these than there are necessary. But anyways, we'll try to get through this just so I can show you guys uh, the boss timer as well. Because that one apparently is a lot worse. See, this is also why them reducing the timer is just dummy, dummy, dumb, dumb. Because, like, look at this, dude. We've got, like, two minutes left. And that was me just screwing around trying to find out, like, what we were supposed to do. Why did these men, these guys dropped a lot of inert geode. Jeez. You fill up faster than you can end up, like, counting and saying bazinga. These guys are apparently, yeah, they're a lot weaker, or a, a lot less time as well. You gotta defeat them in three freaking minutes. Which, granted, guys, we're in the really early tiers right here. Like, it's gonna be a lot harder when you're doing the deeper delves, dude. It's insane. Uh, so you can also loot collect these for, uh, you know, the inept geode, which, good enough, you know, I'll take it, because buying more of those boxes from those merchants is always going to end up being a good thing. But yeah, I guess that's gonna cover today's video, ladies and gentlemen. I, I told you I wanted to have this as a separate thing where we would talk about the boxes and the items and junk, uh, and at least we ended up getting to check out the little ally and seeing how the potions worked and the bombs as well there are a couple other allies that do similar things uh, as well as i'm sure a lot more rare items uh, there's also an item that uh, i forget if joe got it or if he just found a screenshot of it where it's like it's like some like overly powerful geode item or something uh, apparently it decomposes after a time limit but if you consume it you get like a full four or five hundred inept geode or something which is this new currency right here Unfortunately, and I hope that the devs patch this, uh, if you are already maxed out on the geode resource, you can't actually loot collect anything because it just says your inventory is full. Now, 
I'm not saying that it should just allow you to do it, uh, but I do think that it should give you a warning and just tell you, you know, you're going to delete some items because otherwise you've got all of these items that are slowly going to decompose that you might just be like just shy of being able to use it. You know, like let's say I'm at 200 in up geode, but I want to have like the extra 300 to max out my wallet. I can't do that with that weird item I can get out of those uh, depth chests, the pressure chests, because the game won't allow me to. And then that item is just going to end up just dying if I don't quickly try to spend all of my inept geo as much as I can just so that I can end up using it. It just kind of seems weird and dumb that something like that would be on an expiration timer. They've loved that ever since they added the food items to the game. But anyways, that's that we'll save that rant for another time. Thanks for watching. What do you guys think about all this stuff? I think it's pretty cool. You know, Delves is slowly becoming something that's a little more tolerable. You know, it's still not quite there yet, but we'll see what happens when it's on the live server. Obviously, it's going to end up being affected very differently. But what do you guys think? Smash like, sub for more, buy the merch you want to support the channel, and otherwise have yourselves a fantastic day. Sign or and stay epic gamers.